So this is the garden or well the gar garden or district. I mean, this railway station's big. So outside the railway station, you've got lots of guys there, and they're selling cigarettes. I don't know if they count if it's at about five euro a packet. My suggestion: you don't go near them. They're probably horse shit or something. <laughs> so don't buy cheap cigarettes. You know, it's your lungs. It's not worth the savings. So we're going to have a walk around the district. Say so it's the garden hall. So that was lucky, there he stopped for me. So across the road there's um, various cafes, I think there's even a Burger King. Loads of hotels. Money exchange. Didn't Jesus go to one of them? Oh no, he threw the tables over, didn't he? So there's loads of people eating out. And um, July the 14th, thereabouts. Could be the 15th. So there's Garden Hall Railway Station. which I say is huge. So you can go to London from there, from the garden or, <laughs> sorry for my pronunciation. And um, you can yeah, go to London, Eurostar. There's a bus stop tour. And say there's loads of places to eat. There's like a, a, a three course meal or whatever, 22 euro. It's not cheap, Paris, you know. So there's Garden Or. So I think it's a bit of art deco, that sign, isn't it? Garden Or. Huh? And so that's the metro. So you come out the main railway station, which is there. And you can get the metro. So I'm actually staying in this area, which is a little bit dodgy at night. So I would suggest that if you're going to stay in Paris and you want to go out at night, avoid this area. But there are lots of nightclubs around here. And there are lots of hostels and hotels. And probably Airbnb but it's not the best area to stay in um, especially at night time you get lots of people on street corners drinking and smoking weed but um, perhaps you want to hang around those street corners and smoke weed so you've got everything in this railway station Five guys. It's like a coffee place. So I mean, the thing about the weather's okay. It's 30 centigrade, we'll say, and um, which is not too warm. Possible. Like if you're in Morocco, it's 40. It would be a nightmare. So there's a Burger King. If you're American or. English or I think they're everywhere in the world aren't they? Burger King to think that next door to the pyramids is a McDonald's. How sad. Oh so there you've got Burger King there and next door is McDonald's, it's the Garden or railway station. You've got a homeless guy there. I do videos on homeless people and they're quite popular. So I don't know, he looks like he's having a wank, doesn't he? <laughs> Forget my me. I know it's just the things blowing in the wind, isn't it? There they are laying there and obviously people just walk by, you know. Hi. 
and there so you can get some water for free there so if you, the best thing is to bring a bottle actually it smells of piss around here for some bizarre reason maybe that water's not only um, water So there it is, McDonald's. So I say the Garden or railway station is huge, you can go to all over the shore. Berlin, Frankfurt. So it's amazing these buildings, amazing. So I'm actually going to Belfast today, which is in Northern Ireland. So I'm just, my flight's about six o'clock this evening. So I'll just do a few videos kill a bit of time they are wild beer oh, as wild as a theatre there as well So there's lots of little coffee bars and cafes around by the garden or so you can see all the tourists can't you with the cases you can see they I was going to say they were American, but I don't know where they were from. I think they were French, I think. It's getting a little bit windy. Seems to have a water leak here somewhere. So I'll have a walk down here, look at the buildings. So generally Paris is quite expensive. Um, you know, a beer on the happy hour is about five euro, and then you can probably pay ten euro upwards for a beer. And then shorts, we'll say vodka, whiskey, probably around eight euro for a single. Uh, a meal out, probably you're looking from about twenty-five euro. Even McDonald's is not cheap, so. If you want to go somewhere cheap, go <laughs> to Romania, don't come here, it is expensive. But I'm here in July and the accommodation is expensive because it's the peak season. It's beautiful apartments, aren't they? But I say, sometimes you don't get a lot of light because that's the only window in the building. And so what you're dealing with is a, a building which is quite dark. But also, it wouldn't be cheap anyway, but... So there's the hallway, if you see what I mean. As you go in there, it's quite dark. They actually have the lights on, it's uh, midday. But beautifully laid out, isn't the plants, you know? 
I'm not sure where that water's coming from. I don't think it should be there. I think it's a leak. And the streets are very clean. There's some charging ports for electric cars. A pleat pizza pace. Which again, if you look in that building, it's quite dark because um, the buildings are quite deep and only one or two windows. Well, I feel pretty safe. I mean, it's like most cities, you've got to keep your eyes and your wits about you, you know? So that, I think that is a hospital, look at that. Nice enough building, don't want to be in there, like. Yeah, the hospital. I'd say across the road you've got another bar. So we're going to cross over and walk back in the direction of the Garden Hall. Lots of taxis there. That water's spewing out of there. Must be a leak. I mean, I, am I living, I live in England? I'm surprised at how much the water cost me. You know? And in England and Ireland, it never stops raining. So, I mean, and they strapped you for the air. Uh, the water which comes from the sky. So all over Paris they've got these like loose toilets, water closets, which are free. So um, that one apparently is engaged, I think. That red light out of order. This is the problem, quite a few of them out of order. So that's what they look like, the water closets. And so that building in front of us is Garden or the railway station, I say, you can go to. There's got the metro station in there, and they've got the trains all over Paris, and they've got even further you go to Berlin, London, pop music. Lots of bikes there. So there it is, the garden hall, and there's many entrances into it. And this is just one, which seems to be under construction. <coughs> Loads of taxis. I was bitching about me filming him. We wouldn't have noticed so many glasses waving, you know. Well, you wouldn't have noticed. So, um, he said something about the press. <laughs> I mean, it's amazing buildings, aren't they? I mean, just one little apartment, do me. I don't need a lot of room, you know.
so eventually we'll end up, uh, end up in the railway station. I mean, a lot of people are interested in railway stations. I know by the amount of hits they get on railway stations. Maybe you're interested in the trains, you know? Maybe you're going to get one. So, so there's some fire hydrants, I think they're called. There's a fire, you put your hose on there. And so here it is, the garden all. So these are parking tickets, so there must be a place you can park your car. Security guys. Trains. So if it's very hot and you're in the area, it's too warm, come here, it's air conditioned. So there's the Eurostar straight ahead. So we'll just film this train, you know, sneak in there. So in order to get on the train, you scan your uh, barcode, QR code, whatever, on your phone, or your ticket, and this is a train. So they're quite modern trains. So just step on and step on. Shit. Fucking doors are about to close. Huh? I stepped in there for a minute, I'll find myself in another city. So there anyway, the doors are about to close. So that sort of freaked me out, so I was in there and the door closed, started to close, so that means the train is taken off, but weirdly it's not moved. Should we go to the end? Let's, let's have a look at the end. So we'll just sneak in there again, we won't go properly in there. So as you see the modern trains, air condition, USB, Wi-Fi. And it seems to have be a double decker, doesn't it? Got seats upstairs and downstairs. Quite a long train. So the roof, the ceiling. Amazing. That's a long train there. Huh? People still get coming, arriving, arriving. start walking back I think. I was hoping the train might take off but um, give it a minute. So they've got some security system there and 
say it's 1120 and uh, various buttons I won't be pressing them and uh, there's the people inside the train and so you can even take your bike on there's a guy smoking one of those vape things I, it's it sort of smell like for breeze it's like a, a fabric freshener you know and how you can put that shite in your lungs I don't really know but people do funny things don't they So that's funny, I got on the train and the door started to close and now the train has gone, no, gone nowhere, it must be seven minutes later. So there's the front of the train for all you, or it could be the back isn't it, anyway for all you train enthusiasts. See it's quite a long train. So I say there's the machine you scan your ticket and this is the main railway station here. So upstairs there is where you get the Eurostar. And there's a um, various machinery you know. Sorry we can get a a drink or something. A bar of chocolate. And so they don't seem to supply a lot of chairs. I can't actually see any seats here. So most people will sit on the floor. Well, there's one or two. And that's not even a chair. So down there is the metro, lines B, D and E, so somewhere you can find the metro to take you where you want to go here. There it is, the metro. So I say the place goes on forever. So you can go downstairs and we could make a, an epic movie, but we won't. And if you get bored with, my, with the video, you can always wind it on to see what you want to see. So. Let's go out. I think that's American Five Guys. I used to know a girl, she liked Five Guys. And so there's another... Uh... Oh, that's uh, for sterilising your hands. You know, uh, get rid of the germs. So beautiful weather, huh? beautiful. So we'll leave it there, thanks for watching, maybe you'll put a like for me, maybe you'll subscribe, cheers, and if you're coming to Paris, check out my videos, it'll give you an idea what's here, and maybe an idea where to go, thanks for watching.